what's up guys welcome back again and uh, this is not any special app specific video so i just got a, a very nice app here actually it's very innovative in terms of that's why i'm showing you here and it's very limited uh, time public beta offer and it is called andromium os so let me just take a look on the play store here as you can see uh, this is what the os uh, pages here so it is called andromium os beta so according to the application description so it's currently a limited time free public beta turns your android device into full functional computer by attaching a device to tv monitor keyboard and mouse and they have some website link so and for instructions of using all so in short guys you need uh, some hardware a very great hardware at least snapdragon 800 series so you can see 2 gigabytes of ram 1080p display at least and requires android lollipop and above and also in case you have this google chromecast or miracast or some display dock or kind of stuff so it will be very great otherwise if you have usb keyboard or mouse so there are so many stuffs are there and i don't have any stuffs right now and you need to give it accessibility and notification permissions and also uh, it went to the full screen here so you can see uh, you got here actually the keyboard is not working because you need to connect it with this uh, uh, either miracast chromecast or having usb keyboard but you got this uh, kind of specific set of applications and if you just uh, click here you can see uh, this is the start window here if i just click here so hopefully it should work and you got uh, complete uh, this is androidium androidium actually i'm just confused with that so browser file explorer video player music player and we got calculator mind super game is here and this is the suggested app and this is the untested app you can see so this is what uh, really excites me it looks like complete stuff so this is all number of apps that i have in my phone that includes system application itself for example contact and all the stuffs and the app i installed there so we will launch the app later and uh, this is the file explorer uh, you can double tap it here it, it got closed actually yeah this is already explored you can see this is a complete download directory even you can play that here for example if i go inside the dc i am double click is working actually I go inside this open camera so i'm just working out a couple of the images here so this is what image open if you just make it full screen so also you can minimize it you can close it that all right and you can go back go back from here and actually it's a bit tiny if you have some uh, you know uh, stick kind of stuff you can go back and this is come back here we'll just try to play a video here hopefully if we can play some and let me just find any video file so a lot of files it's actually very nice here but in case you have i i sure i should have to play that on my nexus 6 because that got six inches screen. so this is a uh, stuff a video if i just play it again so that's why actually kind of rain was heavy So these things are there guys and all right let me just launch a quick app here so this is the browser actually androidium browser so it looks very tiny i mean it's not too responsive even though it has three gigabytes of ram it does shows all the notification and stuff it shows the time battery percentage and also if i just get inside let me try to launch this uh, uh some app for example if i just launch the prisma let's see so it does uh, opens the app in the full screen as you can see so this looks nice also uh, if we just launch some other apps uh, here and i guess it turns the all apps here if we just launch twitter let's see so that's nice i mean it does convert actually i, I do have enabled this you know rotate my screen i'm using this google Home launcher so that it can rotate the screen very well and uh, if i just go back here so at a time oh it, it what goes here so what happens it does goes here so it manually launches actually i don't know i, th I thought it should be and you can see on the background uh, in the task manager kind of computer task manager these apps are running also if you just go inside and so, uh, so apps will launch as perfectly if i just launch this minesweeper let's see they have given any game so in case you have guys all this usb and keyboard stuff so that should be very nice here so uh, but it's just fun app actually i'm not sure people are going to use it and i, I even won't recommend that because uh, it's not too much friendly you can see i need to be look carefully on you know, that and these stuffs are clickable uh, i don't think so so not much stuffs are working anyway this is a public beta too so hopefully so i don't know what is that some stuff got it 
something is happening in the background all right let's minimize it that so i don't know how to minimize that now if i click somewhere so you can see guys it's completely beta stuff uh, it's not even responsive so just have to show you guys a quick app here and uh, you got the browser also uh, they have built-in browser you can see uh, super book turns computer but uh, the apps whenever it is open it's very responsive not like that but overall this os is uh, unresponsive and uh, uh, there are a lot of business purposes actually you can uh, convert your phone into a laptop so maybe it's kind of display dog feature that microsoft uh, windows 10 mobile is offering you can convert your complete phone uh, to your working desktop so that i guess that's a concept here so that actually they are trying to bring it that and that is built in on the windows 10 mobile and they are trying to bring that uh, in terms of os actually so uh, that's it guys a quick overview about this uh, new app here so in case you want to try our fun app you can just use that so i will talk to you in next video guys and i'm just working on new uh, apps of the weekend series is all and this is sort of thanks for watching